coming up in the eight o'clock hour. He seems perfect. Yeah, he honestly. <laughs> I think I was just <laughs> <laughs> Well, he is pretty perfect, yep. actually, and he is also our school standout of the week. What makes him so special when we come back? to come. Megan Colorazzi is here for our weekly Good Day LA series, School Standouts. That's right. Today I'm going to introduce you to a young gentleman from the Sage Hill School in Newport Coast. He's leading the charge when it comes to empowering his female friends at school. Why? Well, you're just going to have to wait to find out. That's coming up next. It is 847. That means it's time for this week's Good Day LA School Standout. And Megan is here to introduce us to another great kid from the Sage Hill School in Newport Coast. Megan. That's right, guys. His name is Ezigo Ananye. And although he's just a teenager, he started a powerful movement in his school, and it's all about empowering young girls and giving them a voice. Let's just say, Ezigo rocks. Ezigo is intelligent, charismatic, and outgoing. He's a great team player, my best friend on the team. Yep, you guessed it. Ezigo Ananye is a pretty special young man. I'm Ezigo Ananye. I'm 17 years old. I go to Sage Hill High School in Newport Coast. I'm on varsity water polo, varsity sailing. I founded Bark, and I'm a member of GEM. Also, I'm a life scout. He's definitely a complete California kid, but this junior at the Sage Hill School in Newport Coast is anything but your typical teen. What does your name mean? Uh, my name means we are complete. So are you guys complete with Ezigo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And is he a good water polo player? What's his move? Uh, he's all right. He's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ezigo is better than all right at a whole bunch of things, which is probably the reason why he'll be leading the charge at school next year. Your student class vice president next year. Yeah, I'm super excited. Sage Hill has given me so many opportunities, and I feel that by being vice president, I can just show how much love and how much Sage has put back into me and put that back into the community. And going down the right path has always been a way of life for Ezigo. He's on his way to becoming a coveted Eagle Scout. Joining my Boy Scout troop, I made a lot of friends there, and it gave me a lot of life skills and helped me mature as a person. It's taught me that hard work and perseverance is the way to go. It's that grit that helped him raise $5,000 to bring 200 backpacks filled with school supplies to needy kids in Mexico for his Eagle Scout project, a journey he will never forget. I I learned that a lot of stuff in America we have we take for granted like a lot of things like little things like pencils erasers crayons that these kids were thrilled about kids in America would just toss aside and I think that we need to appreciate what we have here. Ezigo truly doesn't take anything for granted and that's because he learned to adapt early on in life. Why? Well his family moved him and his sister halfway around the world to Nigeria where his mom and dad are from. My grandma like would teach me how to carry water from the well back to the house, so that was like my favorite time. But it was while he was in Nigeria that Ezigo faced a pretty defining moment. His older sister was told she couldn't join a karate class because she simply was a girl. Some guy said she couldn't do karate, so she decided everyone who ever wants to do karate can do it and started doing her own karate lessons to girls. And that was like a big moment in my life. Well, he took that moment and decided to do something about it. This past year, he helped form GEM. GEM is Girls Empowerment Movement. It started last year by a group of juniors at Sage Hill High School. So we hold one large conference and smaller events where we support girls and show them that they can be whatever they want to be. And his empowerment mission didn't stop there. Ezigo then created BARK. BARK, Boys Against Rape Culture, is the club that I founded at Sage. Um, so it's a group of guys and girls that come together and we discuss issues. We have speakers that come in, talk to us about consent, rape culture, um, sexual assaults in the workplace, and I just want to educate boys and girls on those matters. He sure does educate, and his message about women is simple. Treat them with as much respect as you can. It's all about mutual respect. So, as you can see, Ezigo is not only hardworking, but he is also wise, kind, and a true gentleman. And if you ask his friends, they think he's pretty cool too. Is there one thing that Ezigo does not do? Hmm. hmm. 
He seems perfect. Yeah, he honestly. <laughs> 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 If you couldn't hear, she said he's flawless, and I agree. Ezigo is really a true gentleman, and he's pretty wise beyond his years. And he has two very strong female forces in his life, his mom and his older sister and his dad, who all he wants to thank, who taught him so much in life. And guess what? Way to go, Ezigo. We're very proud of you at, here at Good Day LA. Now, we want to hear from you. Nominate a Good Day LA school standout. Email me at fox11news at foxtv.com or direct message me at Instagram at Megan Calarasi. Guys, there's a lot of great people out there, and we just want to highlight you. We'll be right back.